In 2012, a set of niche players started offering new non-silicon hair care products to the women of Japan. Their popularity took P&G and other main category players by surprise. With declining sales came a decrease in our media budget by 11%. But our challenge to put an end to the slide only grew. Historically, P&G had focused on the absolute sales of each hair care brand to measure success and media investment. But mirroring this approach within communications meant that brands were stretched to the maximum, sales were declining and growth had stopped. To reverse this trend, we needed to outsmart our competition. We needed a whole new approach to planning. It was then that we had an epiphany. If we focused on the profitability of each brand, as opposed to absolute sales, we would maximise profit for P&G. Applied across the entire portfolio, we could identify the most effective way to communicate each hair care product. With a portfolio and profitability approach agreed, we looked at the historical data for each brand and selected our key touch points based on our primary target, affluent Japanese women, P&G's highest value consumers. We then used this data to examine the ROI of each touch point to ensure that we understood the exact return on investment for every single media dollar spent. This data, combined with our profitability and portfolio focus, allowed us to create a non-linear optimization system, the first of its kind in the world. This system would reallocate budgets from lower response activities across the whole P&G hair care portfolio and drive category growth overall. For the actual process, we calibrated non-linear response curves, how response moves up or down as spends increase or decrease for each media by brand. We used one, historical results, two, our proprietary and syndicated media research to estimate potential incremental reach build of non-TV media channels, three, inventory and buying constraints, and four, brand profitability. This response-based optimization is also capable of layering in a broad range of other considerations, such as creative assets that address brand barriers, such as trial amongst our target group. This first-of-its-kind approach to media planning resulted in a 9% media efficiency increase, and the sales impact of the 11% cut in media spend was practically reduced to just 3% due to the optimization. P&G's sales decline over the last 10 months came to a halt and the client was so impressed with the results that our unique optimization approach is now being rolled out across P&G categories throughout Asia.